Ko uh, lost her daughter in one of the fights. Really good animals. Really good cooking. Good at close combat. Tough and psychically dull. This is a Yatkin. Uh, kind of like a little like Chewbacca character. Norbert. Drugs. Can't do them. Medical intellect. Surratt. Uh, really quick builder. Oh. Wait, why aren't you leveling up? Why didn't you level up when we gave you the thing? Shit, okay. Um, well, looks like you're making a fuck ton of something to level up. Uh, Saka has kick-ass armor. Does Saka? Where's Saka? Saka looks pretty badass. You want Saka? Social, medical, intellect. And you want Norbert? Yeah, okay. So got clean. And then we got, Nor you want Norbert? Can't do drugs, intellect, um, the shotgun. Will, wilted, star. There we go. Let's get you guys down here. And I promise we gotta get Shimiki character and Lil's character. Well, I don't know who. Why is Normert so upset? Sorry, I got uh, distracted by the baseball game. No worries at all. How dare you? Another Masterwork Shield Belt. Oh my goodness. Keep it up, Manhunter Pack. What do we got here? Rhinos. I want people so we can steal them. Battle unicorns, fuck yeah. God damn battle unicorns. And you two, whoops. Come and chill in here before we come back. Now there's a lot of rhinos. I might turn these on. That's a lot of rhinos. Let's, uh... Okay, uh, let's back it up just ever so slightly here. And... We'll get these guys in front. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. That's boy, you get back. That's a lot of rhinos. 
Uh, you have no armor. behind and he doesn't have gear either right yeah he's on flak uh Benimir. and camel dragon you come here you come here ford is getting Pretty bruised. Oh god. Uh you get back. Get back out there. Yeah. Go camel. Vendemir. Uh Serac, get back. You go back, you go back, you go back, you go back, go back. Uh, and start finishing them off. They beefy boys. Even with re well, recon armor is not the greatest, but it has no movement pal penalty. <sighs> oh my god, you guys. Okay, we're turning those off. That nearly... Moran should have died there, I feel like. That was four shots that whizzed past his face. That was incredibly lucky. So I need to start investing, I think, into cataphrac armor for close combat people. Look who it is. Look who it is. How's it going, Shimiki? That, you know what? It was quite horny. I will say that. It was quite horny. They just blew through everything. Huh? Oh, she make you, uh, the rhinos. They've got horns on them. Get your head out of the gutter, gutter she make you. Come on. We're all on the same page. Where's your head at, Shimiki? Oh, we need a lot more. Uh, are you free tomorrow night, Schmicky? Oh, his nose got shattered. This is how stream last night. She was dressed as a model. Wait, you streamed last night? I, th I wonder why my thing didn't update. Oh, okay, last time. Don't think in her last time she streamed icy okay okay I was say i usually when i would wake up in the middle of the night to go pee i always like checked and lurk for people and i didn't see unless i sleep through the entire night but. Yeah, no Ripper Hound. I don't think any Ripper Hounds got damaged, really. Or... 
There's a few. But none, none like went down at all. Like, uh, Div, are you still tending? The lurking pee? Yeah. It's like, wake up and you're like, fucking bright. Click, 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 click. Okay, run, go pee, come back. Dude, I feel like I have COVID, but I can still play tomorrow. We'll adjust the time if that's okay. Well, yeah, what time works for you? Because I have to adjust the time as well. Because I don't know what time I'll be home at. Ever so slightly. I'm assuming I'll be home around 8 o'clock my time. Because we're helping another location. And so far what's happened every year is we show up. We work our shift. I work longer. And we go to their location. Help them out. But they're usually almost done. But because it's around dinner time, they have to buy us dinner. So we usually show up eat our food, come up to help, and they're like, okay, you can go home, and we just go home. So I'm hoping that's the case this year, too. We're getting Taco Fino. Uh, Div, I need you to get your ass over here and patch him up, okay? Okay. Uh, you won't be on tomorrow? No, Wilted. How come? How come, Wilted? Talk to me. Uh, oh, she makes you dressed as a model? Oh, shit. What magazine you're going for, Shimiki? You went to a Penn State hockey game? Nice. Noise, noise, noise. Who's uh, someone looking after the baby for you? Around that time, yeah. It was like about eight, eight o'clock or nine o'clock, yeah. Need a meditation. Oh. Your mom is nice. Nice, nice, nice. Who's sick? I'm a model for Vogue magazine, I thought, so I was like, I'm pretty sure I've seen Shimiki somewhere before. It's really rare that uh, someone's on every page. Uh, do oh, you feel like you're COVID. Oh, uh, you have COVID. Wow. Pretend to be sick to get a plane with me. I see how it is, Mickey. I see how it is. Oh, but feeling better because of our collaboration. I see. Redemption. I'm trying to picture Tyson reading Vogue. To be honest with you, I don't even know what Vogue is. Wait, is Vogue the one that's always like kind of has that pretentious front? I should know this because we used to sell these. Ah, oh, this is death. Oh! I think this is what I was thinking of, actually. Yeah, I think this is this is the one. Yeah, my free time. Pardon me. Uh, wow, I'm literally going to play with you and not rest. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Shimiki. I appreciate it. 
But I don't, actually, no, I don't even know why I should be thanking you. I sh it should be, I, it's just an expectation, right? Like, if we're rating people out of five here, Shimiki, you're still at a three, because uh, you meet expectations. Yeah, you're not going above and beyond. Oh, that's the plague. We're gonna be losing a lot more alpacas. More meat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, does she though? Yeah, plague flavored meat. Yeah, it's a delicacy, and not any meat. Plague flavored alpaca meat. She got destroyed by that. So yeah, we're definitely gonna get cataphract armor. Ooh, that's a lot of uh a lot of meat. At least exceeding expectations a four? I'll review it with Ohay and we'll come with an answer later. But she called her base soft, so Ohay's still kind of hurt by that one. Oh, he's pretty, he's pretty wounded. Any uh, specific game you want to play, Shimiki? Garhorn, Emma, or at least the kids seem to like our town, our little city. And Garhorn's about to level up to his next age group, yeah, he's almost 10. Emma is 4, so she's a while, she's got a little while to go. We have a lot of meat. Like, we have a lot of fucking meat. So let's, uh... Let's cook some of this. When is Emma? Oh, Emma hasn't had her first training gun. It might be a little while, but... Are you still making these shield belts? How many more does he have left? Oh, okay. But yeah, it might be pretty soon. The only reason I haven't been doing it as much as I was in the past was they were bugged. So for some reason the children, when they tried to shoot, it would have them permanently shoot, trying to shoot, and then they couldn't move. And then I had to hold the line by the kid. Is this the most solid base you've ever done? No, I've definitely done more solid bases. This one's still, still on the softer side. Uh, it is pretty big though. It is pretty big. Yeah, it's pretty big. I think the biggest part 
is uh, the fact that there's legs here that's kind of screwing things up. Oh, redeem story. Giving notice for leaving the job. Um, all right. Uh, how did this start? I would say, okay, so like, as I've said, I've worked uh, four, 14 years in retail. And um, I was sick of it many times. I said, I'm going to look for another job. Kind of would half ass it and wouldn't really. I wasn't really. I just, I don't know. It was really hard because I was five minutes away. It was super convenient. Um, you know, most of my friends worked there, um, especially a lot of my newly created ones. So it was really, really hard. It was very, very comfortable. But reality, I should have left there like after like four years. Um, but like we had a lot of like good times still. But over time, people started moving on. I still kept my friends, but it's you know it's not the same there. You don't see each other as often, um, uh, and you start to lose your sanity a little bit. Um, and I think one of the final straws too was that oh hey actually um, he had to, he was kind of like my closest friend. That was like left, and then he had he got transferred to too. So it was like I didn't really have like I had a couple other friends, but our jobs didn't allow us to like really talk that much. And I was just really unhappy. I was super super unhappy. So I think what was it? 2020, 2019, 2019. I think 2019 uh, or 2020. I can't remember. Um, I was like, you know, my New Year's resolution was. By the end of the year, no matter what I do, I don't care if I'm fucking doing the worst job in the world, I just have to take a step outside of this company. I just have to quit. I have to go into something else, but I have to leave. By the end of the year, no matter what, that is my promise to myself. And uh, so I started putting putting my uh, name out there, uh, kind of like calling in some old friends, some contacts, some people that have kind of like offered me jobs, just to see kind of like what stuck. And I got like, I think it was like two, three interviews lined up. And then uh, I got a fourth one and they're like, yeah, if you want to come in like right away. I'm like, well, I'm kind of busy, but uh, you know, like I have time on Oh no, sorry. So yeah, I got the three. I had those like lined up. Went up to my boss and I was like, hey, just so you know, I'm gonna, I, like sat down. I'm like, hey, uh, as you know, I've been here for a long time, but I think it's time for me to move on. And he's like, you're not quitting, are you? I'm like, no, no, not yet, but I'm gonna look for jobs. And pretty much any job I'm slightly happy with, I'm gonna just leave. And if it's, you know, now I'm gonna be a little bit, you know, careful but as it comes to like Christmas I'm pretty much gonna take anything because I do not want to spend another Christmas here he's like okay 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 well like you know wish you the best like you know it's sad that you're leaving but um, you know like why I'm like I'm just not happy pays shit uh, like I haven't got a raise in like 10 years we're getting more and more jobs handed to us and uh, vacation I can't take vacation time ever we're always shorthanded so he's like, okay. But he like didn't didn't like argue, didn't fight back, didn't offer anything else. It was it was kind of like, he's not gonna quit. He's not gonna quit. And so like, okay, have a good one. So pretty much that night I get a call being like, hey, yeah, well, we're interested. Uh, do you wanna have an interview on Monday? I'm like, yeah, sure. So uh Went in on Monday. I had like the shittiest resume I've ever made. I made it in like five minutes. Came in, handed it to him. I was kind of embarrassed to give him my resume. And I just flat out said, look, I didn't even try on my resume. I spent like maybe five minutes. Uh, it's a piece of garbage. And he's like, oh, you know, that's totally fine. Like, to me, the most important part. Oh, no, I think I said to me, the most important part is the communication aspect to me this is just a piece of paper that just states a bunch of bullshit 
and he's like, fine by me, totally understand, like, that's my same thinking. He chucked it in the garbage, which he told me later on that he actually needed it to hand in to head office, but it was gone. So, uh, yeah, we had an interview, and within 15 minutes, he goes, um, do you have any questions? I'm like, yeah, I got a bunch. He's like, oh, and by the way, you have the job. I was like, oh, okay. He's like, so ask your questions and I'll give you a tour. Like, you can start whenever you want. So um, I told him that, I think I told him that I needed a month off, or I would be a month before um, I could actually work there. In reality, I put in my two weeks right away. I just wanted to get two weeks off because I had not had time off in like forever. I just wanted two weeks to myself. And I was really worried because I was like, fuck. He has to wait. They're short. They're short-handed. They desperately need someone, and I'm telling them I can work there in a month. But he's like, "That's totally fine. That's cool." So I was like, "Okay, that's a good sign." And so I came in on Tuesday morning, called my manager and the assistant manager up in the office. Uh, here's my two weeks. They're like, "Oh, like you're leaving, leaving?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, I found a job." And he's like, "Oh, um, like, oh, uh, like shit, like really?" I'm like. I'm, I'm out of here. And so, yeah, they were pretty upset. Still, no one came up and offered me a, a better deal or uh, really anything. And then I found out um, one of the rules I had when I was working as in retail was I did not want to be transferred. So when, if I got promoted as a supervisor, I did not want to be transferred. To me, I'm like five minutes away. It made no sense to... Uh, made absolutely no sense for me to um, get transferred for like an hour uh, hour away like zero so I every time they're like oh can you you want we're transferring you I'm like uh, nope I have protection like I told you guys I'd quit and they'd back off and this was always the case but then on the day I was leaving I get a call from another, like some girl, and she's like, oh, hi there, I'm, can I talk to like such and such? And I'm like, manager? Yeah, for sure. She's like, oh, who is this? I'm like, Tyson. She's like, oh, okay. And then, uh, well, nice meeting you. And I'm like, okay, that was kind of weird. Um, and so my like third like operations manager comes up to me, he's like, hey, so uh, you were supposed to be transferred and Pretty much what had happened was I had immunity to being transferred. Everyone kind of knew that. But some of the big wigs pretty much wanted to test me. They're like, there's no way Tyson's going to quit. He's been here for 14 years. Like, he's stuck. Let's just transfer him. And uh, so pretty much the day I was getting or the day I was going to get the notice I'm transferring, I have, I'm, that is my last day at work. So that felt really good. Like, that felt like a million bucks. 14 years, yeah. I literally quit within, like... Well, yeah, pretty much, like, three days. It took me, like... Honestly, it was, like, six days of effort to get out of there. What the fuck? I got a huge bite on my leg. I'm just gonna try and, like... It's about me. So... Yeah. And, uh... And goodbye in the same call, yeah. Which fucked up a bunch of shit, because they desperately need someone, and they're just going to send me. Which would have sucked, because it was on the... The rule is, you, they can transfer you an hour away. Unless you say okay, but they're allowed to just transfer you up to an hour away. Where they're transferring me was exactly one hour away. And that's in ideal conditions. So every day I would be spending at least two hours plus on just travel time. Where at my location I was just at, I would have been five minutes away. I can't wait to give you a notice. Yeah, it felt really good. That's the time I would have quit too, yeah. Or did they talk to me? Yeah, maybe yeah. there's a couple locations I would have moved to, maybe if they whatever but it was just like it made no sense it was like one our store was always struggling we could barely find people to work there anyone that did work there usually quit because 
the location that we're at is very awkward to get to if you don't live in the area. So, plus everyone knew me. Uh, I always got high reviews, like crazy high reviews, so it's not like I was like slacking or whatever. It was just the whole thing was really dumb. And, uh, yeah. And what was funny though is I, my manager is terrible. Terrible at filling out paperwork and we're always getting shit for it, so I always had to do it. Um, and our assistant manager is pretty garbage at it too. So I have a feeling that one of the reasons, one, he never offered me anything better, but I think the second reason why I never got offered anything is I bet no one even knew. I bet he didn't even put in the paperwork to say that I was quitting because uh, six months later, I was still occasionally getting calls from the security company. Um, we have a security company that we works with us that runs, uh, monitors our cameras if we need to, our, uh, the, what do you call it? Uh, like all the alarms in the building and would call whoever lived the closest to come and check out the store, which I was the closest. So I get call all the time being like, uh, yeah, one of the alarms got triggered, can you go check out? And then I go check it out, meet the police there and the police would go, look around, once it's all clear, I'd go in, turn off all the alarms and and try and fix it. So when I quit, I was getting calls all the time still. And I'm like, I don't work there anymore. They're like, okay, can you tell your manager to you know, send in the paperwork saying that you don't work there? Yeah, I did that. And I, I went into the store too, I was like, hey, they're still calling me. Oh, we'll take care of that. Six months later, they were still, that's a huge security breach. So eventually after six months, they call me again. And I'm like, fuck, they keep waking me up too. Uh, wait. And um, so I'm like, so when they call me and I'm like, and they're like, can you go in and check the, you know, south side alarm? Yeah, I'll go in. Okay, perfect. And how long do you think you'll be there waiting for the police? Uh, I can be there in like 20, 25 minutes. And like, okay, perfect, thank you. I'm like, oh, just so you guys know, this could have been really bad because I actually don't work there anymore. So I could have technically, if I was a bad employee, showed up there, said I'm working with there, working there, let the cops let me in pretty much, um, gone in there and did whatever I want. That would look bad on you guys too. And they're like, uh, okay. I'm like, so please don't call me again. And they never call me back. So it's like again, I had to put it in my own hands to get rid of them calling me rather than our manager taking care of it. Uh, basically, they regard employees as cogs in the machine, not as resources. Yes, I would say there are definitely people in the upper ups that do care about employees, but there's a lot of managers and head office people that don't care that they uh, definitely see them as cogs or um yeah tools bodies it never used to be like that at one point during the uh what are cogs cogs are kind of like uh you know the symbol for gears of war the cog it's kind of like um A wheel with a bunch of pegs and with another wheel with a bunch of pegs and then when this one turns the pegs like interlock and it spins the other cog symbol for the settings yeah yeah um Like when the shimiki and knitted are thinking, you can kind of see the cogs moving very slowly. It almost seems like they're moving backwards. Oh fuck! We're running out of 
running out of these. Uh, what's your farm? Okay, <laughs> you're good. See how long it took her to reply? That's the the slow cog. <laughs> oh, see, and Shimiki's even slower. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm watching the game online in words. It's hard. But yeah, and then it was interesting because like, yeah, I had two weeks off, started work, two weeks later, COVID went boom. And uh, yeah, I even got, I've got offers to come back to my old job multiple times. I'm like, pay the same? They're like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, no. And even though, I just, to be honest, if, even if they offer me a bunch more money, I'd still say no. I just wanted to see if they'd offer me anything better. I'm sick card. You know what, Shimiki will give it to you. Nid, on the other hand, has no excuse. Alright, we got a lot of floors still to build. So I think we'll do repair room in here. We'll do armor on this side and weapons on this side. Probably do close combat, ranged, armor, maybe like special utility, and then repair. Um, and now let's see his boa. How is he doing? I want to see. Oh, he's injured again. Fuck, he's constantly injured. Growth of Gorhorn, he grew. Boom, all right, so. Oh, oh. Couldn't have worked out even better. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, and great memory, like holy shit, this child's gonna be crazy good. Now next level, I'm hoping he gets shooting. So he can do construction, so he can help with construction now. Perfect. We'll get him on that right away. He's at level one, it's level zero building. Trash, we as we a pig turd. Trash bangers, don't piss me off Steven. Who's a cheater? Phillies? Phillies? Oh, Astros? Astros are cheaters? Except for Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise doesn't cheat, right, Nidid? <laughs> wow! Alright, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Wow. I like that's I knew you hated him, but I didn't realize it was that bad. Right, let's speed this up. Tree linking uh let's see inside our walls. Uh so it's Mickey Camel. Me, what was that? that? Oh, clean. You can be a ritualist. Uh, Bryce Harper is asked to cheese more than that. Not sure. I'm sure Bryce Harper stood. Uh, you're my friend. Oh, I didn't know I'm in the game. <coughs> Wait, should make you. You can be in the game.
Not that I disagree, but why do you hate Tom Cruise knitted? It was her first crush. And then she realized that Tom Cruise would not feel the same way. Um, let's see if we can find a good character for Shimiki. What matches Shimiki? Surat, uh, boom, boom. I think Nian can be Shimiki. Nian's life revolves around food. She gets hungry quickly and occasionally overcome with urge to eat ravenously, even when not hungry. She's a psychopath. She's a pessimist. She's a wimp and a deli and delicate. I think that, that would go part. And she's a genie. They're fragile and vulnerable to pain. They don't get angry. They stay calm. And they're good with machines too. fragile the only problem is that uh, interesting they're good machines but then they're a wimp delicate so if you get hit you're down but you're a really good sniper you're a really good sniper Or you could be like, what kind of character do you want to be? Do you want to be an impid? Uh, fat, you can breathe fire. Um, like what kind of what kind of character are you feeling, Shimiki? Gents. We're gonna have to get some uh, delicate psychopathic wimp. Yeah. Yo, Miss P Miss PC, how are you doing? How are you doing today? Across the obelisk. What is that? Oh, it's a, like a card game, I guess. Good, 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 and here's kind of like Slay the Spire meets D and D. Fuck yeah, that sounds great. I my still haven't tried Slay the Spider. Slay the Spire. I've owned it. I think I actually have it on my phone too. I've yet to play it though, but it's totally up my alley. And I love Dungeons and Dragons. One of these days, I'd love to do another Dungeons and Dragons uh, run and maybe stream it if my friends are interested in doing that. An absolute blast. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing? And testing at Riven, how are you? Thank you so much. How are you doing? Welcome to the raid. Say as is your favorite game. Nice. How's it going, Duncan? How's the colony going? Uh don't think I've done DD me too. It's uh, actually about that three, four years. It was like right before COVID. Uh we stopped. Um But yeah, colony's going really good. We did lose two people. Uh from two major raids. But um, the fact that we actually survived, I was quite happy with. But yeah, we're going pretty good. Cows likes killing. Yeah. Yeah. So we're building our armory 
and then we're gonna build our mechanator stuff. I see you like um Oh yeah, you played yeah, you played uh, Rimworld as well. I take it uh pre bowed pass. Okay, have you played much of it? I love all the colors in the base. It's um you know thank you, Miss PC. I usually uh my chat makes fun of my colors. Or lack of. I went all out this time. <laughs> to be honest with you, I think this is the first or second time I've actually had floors. Uh, yeah, no bio yet attack just yet. One last call. I want to finish up. Nice. You guys remind me of Auction Not Included when you get the wallpaper mod. Wait! I've never modded Auction Not Included. I might have to check that out. Are there some decent ones? I love Auction Not Included. I'm not very good though. I'm like good at the start, but late game I, I end up failing usually. I usually start running out of precious min minerals because I took too long. Oh, I, you know, I, like I'm pretty new to modding. Rimworld was like the first game I started modding, but yeah, I gotta look at that. Rimworld and Stardew Valley are the two games I mod. But yeah, I'll definitely check that out. Uh, furniture, shell, sandstone. So this is gonna be where all, oops. This is gonna be where all our ranged ones are. Uh, this game is fucking cracked to me. Uh, I have work in the morning, I have no idea. Oh, this game is like crack. It's like, yeah. The amount of sleepless nights. Uh, it's, it just, it's way too good. I don't know how many of these I need. One, two, three. Ooh. Yeah, no, I play a ton of it. And you have work in the morning, and it's so late. Wait, t wait, what time is it for you guys? I'm uh, PST time, so it's 9.14. I guess I can keep the time going. Uh, and then we clean camel. I should probably just turn Camel off of firefighting. He is. I've never done crack, neither have I, but it, uh, it's what you imagine it's like. This is probably more addicting, though, to be honest. I totally forgot that exists outside of the game, yeah. Well, it's like um, this and like Factorio. Sometimes, like, when you at work, even when I blink, I'll see, like, Factorio, I'll see the belts. And in this game, I just see, like, all the, just like my base. Just like the little pawns running around. Do the morning hours appear too quick when you're playing this game? Yeah. Uh, I play, also play only for the beginning and middle of the game, and by the end I'm so confused by the physics and math. Yeah. Same here. I, uh... It just gets so... It gets, it gets overwhelming. Like, I know I'm not being the most efficient when it comes to uh, uh, Oni, but... It's usually a lot of waste when I play. And it's like, I, I know it's like this with like a lot of games, but I'll like... I remember I end up um, l figuring out after a long time, like this self-powered, like renewable energy thing, and I was so proud of it. It was huge, but it took me so long to figure it out. And it worked brilliantly, like absolutely perfect. And I was like, fuck yeah. And so then I'm like, you know what? Now that I've learned how to do this, and I've been using a couple playthroughs, I'm gonna Google like a proper way. I felt so dumb. I was like, cause mine thing was like, like huge on the map. And then the person, um, and then the person that I YouTubed, their thing was like tiny and it was better than mine. And I was like, oh my God, I've been doing it all wrong. Oh uh, yeah, you see the Maxwell? Yes, I did, I read up on it. Don't know how I feel about it yet. Uh, I like the direction, it's still early. Um, I like some of the things, but 
I'm really curious of where they go with it. But I am excited. I am excited. I'm not a huge fan of like the um, the lack of like because they're they're not permanent, right? You just summon them and they're timed, so you can't have like permanent insanity. I always like that. Seems pretty OP, but then drops another eight buffing even more. Yeah, you can, but you can have six people too, and they can do anything, right? And pick up shit for you, which might be annoying. Dead Space remake December first, yeah, and my vacations during that period, so I'll be doing. Oh no, Dead Space remake is in February, I think January. Callisto Protocol, same company or same creators of Dead Space. Their new game comes out December first. I'll be playing that. I'll probably do a one shot too. All right, six piece, but they cost max sanity. So as soon as one drops, you can cast another one. Yeah, you can, and uh, and then what? Five percent per use on your book, and then fifteen, fifteen uh, percent on spells. Insulting spree book. Um. Miss PC, do you play with mods on this too? But the fact that they're working on them, I love the hat idea, like the shared inventory thing. I really think that's really cool. Uh, pick, why are all our people breaking? He's got such high mood. God damn it, pig. The dude just straight up carrying ancient garden with peeps was like an Oh, with all six of the warriors? I guess it would work Are they a bit stronger? Are they just as weak as they used to be? They do less damage now. No, Emma, you're just a baby. Run, Emma. We gotta get camel. Get your ass over here, dead fish. Don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. He got fucked up. Oh, our, our animals have been just hunting them. I do, uh, they're still weak, but as soon as one dies, you just really play this with boss. Like, AoE has no chance. Yeah, yeah. And you're having six of them. Persona core offer. Continue with offer information. The location of the Persona core, which should you do? They inform you that this item is quite rare and usually its owners have another heavy guard. Call them on cons if you're interested. Alright. I think we'll be staying here for a little while. And how about our prisoners? Are they still genes re going? Oh, we can take his more genes from him. Wait, when did she get dementia? I guess we've had her trapped in here for a very long time. Emma cleaned the river? Emma. <laughs> yeah, Emma's cleaned the river. I should probably change her again. Emma is supposed to be only in kid zone. Yeah, she's four years old crossing the river. It's chest deep, so she's. I'm surprised she doesn't just get. There goes Emma. Grand Supreme Expectations. I think we're going to have to turn Moran into to counter his. Um... So we'll put you on lavish. God damn it, Emma. But yeah, 
No, like, uh, Maxwell's one of the ones I was most uh, excited for. I think his prison thing looks badass. I really like the look of it. I'm really curious as what they do with him. Another pull up. Boa. God damn it, as Boa. How, when did you get hit? He got. Oh, he hasn't. One sec, I'll be right back. I gotta pee again. Um, I forgot what I was going to talk about what I was saying. Yeah, oh yeah, most excited. One of the ones I was most excited for was Maxwell. I hope they gave him a lot of spells. Uh, I don't know, I think with all their characters too, I, I kind of, I want like something that like, upgrades them halfway through. Like, I really like the Librarian. The fact that, like, just over time you get more and more spells, so it's not like you get everything at the beginning. So it'd be neat if there was something that you could do, like, maybe mid-game, that you can, like, upgrade your book and get more spells. Emma. Good old Emma. What's Emma doing? What is Emma doing? Garhorn, how are you doing? Construction level 1 already. Nice. We're running out of like, easy things for him to help build with. Wait, is he already level two? No. Machine uh, builder. Wait. Research. Machine, machine persuasion. Build a reward signal system to persuade an existing. To serving as a ship's machine. Oh, okay. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. Oops. No, you guys. <sighs> Christ. I really wish there was a way <clears throat> that you can, uh, I think it says default to nothing. Faster than Garhorn, you're gonna be a good builder yet. And then who is the uh, Serrat? I think we're trying to get her better at crafting, level six. There we 
go. Uh, broken down. Heart attack. Oh. What did I do, did it? What did I do? What's with these awful words? Where's the repair? Called again, research. Repair shelf. Oh, extra, okay. Eight, ooh, that's expensive. Um, put that more in the middle, so it protects it from the walls. What game we're playing? What are you feeling, Shinnicky? What are you feeling? We need a story about chocolate. So one of my girlfriends had this really weird uh, kink with chocolate. And, not joking. Um, I'm trying to think of something here. Um, <laughs> um, well, I'll say this. Uh, one of my exes, her dad worked in a um, sex shop warehouse. So the warehouse that he worked in um, supplied all the sex shops. So they always had like, um, you know, if you ever work somewhere, a lot of stuff end up making their way into your house. So like, for example, for them, man's going to tell us he got free toys. Oh, I did. Oh, I got free toys. That's where this story is going. I also learned some really weird toys, I won't say. Um, no, he's, he's a chill guy. He's a chill, chill guy. Um, yeah, he gave us a lot of free stuff. Um, so, what was the, um, oh yeah, so like if you look in the house, like, you know when you take a, you click a phone call, you gotta take a message and you have to write it on a notepad? Well, instead of a notepad, they had notepads that were shaped as testicles. And it said, and the note had a default slogan saying someone had the balls to call you with lines where you'd leave the note for whoever it is. Uh, whenever it was someone's birthday, they had dick candles. Just a bunch of dick candles. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think. They had a bunch of stuff. Um, man, it's been so long. There was so many different things. Like, here we go. Use this on my door, let me know how it goes. You kind of... <laughs> well, so her bedroom was next to their bedroom. And so I was staying over one night. We were playing... Um, we were playing tonsil hockey and, you know, other games. Um, and so... We woke up and she's like, I really hope we weren't too... Hopefully we weren't too loud last night. And I'm like, I hope not, like... It was my first time staying over there. So, right away, first thing in the game, first thing in the morning, we hear a knock knock on the door. We're both butt ass naked, so we put the blankets over us. He's like, Can I come in? And we're like, Uh, yeah. And he walks in, he's got a fuck ton of blankets, like so many blankets and pillows, and just dumps them on the floor. He's like, Next time, fuck on the floor we could hear you all night <laughs> just leaves 
I'm like, ooh, because I guess the bed was hitting the wall, <laughs> but yeah. Honestly, I have all the relationships, my favorite, favorite parent of all the relationships. He was super chill. He ran his own D&D campaign, so he was my, like, a dungeon master for me for a while because I joined their campaign. He used to do, um, he used to do, uh, handcraft his own, um, he used to handcraft his own, like, structures for the D&D campaign. Awesome guy. Love B-Movie Nights. And do you have any stories on me? Oh, yeah, lots of, lots of stories on that. Um, so back, oh yeah, so he even gave us like a, what was it, bikini? You know, okay, so you know those necklaces that have the little candies? You stretch it out, num num num, and then you put it back on and it melts in your neck and leaves the rainbow of colors. Um, he gave us a bikini version of that. Uh, he just gave us a bunch of shit. You get free shit, he's like, I don't even know what's in here, just take it. I have no use to, like, he's like, I have, you know... I've taken some for myself, but, you know, have fun. But, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, for chocolate. I'm trying to give a chocolate story. Um, so, I love fondue. I love fondue. It's one of my favorite things. And um, another thing I like doing is I love surprising people. I love surprising people. And I think... And this is no shot against my dad, but growing up, uh, my dad was, you know, I've mentioned he's a little bit on the cheaper side. So uh, there's a lot of times we were put in positions where we'd be somewhere and I kind of feel like it was a blast that we were on a trip or we'd go somewhere. But sometimes there, you know, you have an amazing trip, a good trip, amazing trip, but there was maybe something you could have done to make that amazing, that good or amazing trip to the next level from good to amazing amazing to perfect um maybe it cost a little bit extra more money um just you know that little extra thing so whenever i usually would go out with friends i always like to try and find those uh, scenarios and try to make it a little bit better if i can um so um and you know because of how much he saved, he we were also you could he, we were also able to do a lot of other things too, just because he was super efficient. Um, so on one of our camping trips, I was like, you know, what would be something that just completely what would be something that completely out of the blue that no one would expect that would make the camp trip even better. So I got the I, I was like. Trying to think, 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 and one day at work, I was like, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy a fondue set, and I'm gonna pre-cut all the fruit. I'm gonna have them all in their bags, put them in the box. I'm gonna have a fondue, chocolate, all the whole works, and I'm not gonna tell anyone about it until we're like really drunk, all hanging out, and I'm just gonna pull this thing out. It'll be a big surprise. So I did that, huge success, it was a blast. People were like laughing, like who the fuck brings fondue camping? No work involved because it was all done and it was it was a lot of fun. So like years later, um, I want to do that again for my birthday. And so uh, for camping, I'd always like invite some people for camping. And this time it was a like bros camping trip. So all the guys show up. I've hidden a, can a fondue. I have it on on me. And it was kind of cold. It was a bit chillier, and I think it was raining. And so, uh, I have a bigger tent, and there's like eight or nine of us, and we're not like small dudes. <laughs> so, I'm like, I really want to do a fondue. Everyone wanted to do a fondue. We didn't have any really good cover, because we weren't expecting the rain, so we're like, let's just all go in one tent, and we'll do the fondue. And we're all like pretty, pretty toasted at this point. So we all climb into this tent, we're all sitting in a circle, we have our fondue in the middle and we're just, you know, a bunch of bros having some, you know, chocolate, strawberries. We're sitting there talking and it got really hot in there. There's a, you know, it's a lot of body heat for this tiny little area. Probably two with the candle going. And little, and we're all drunk. Next thing we know, we all pass out. 
and it was kind of like dominoes. So it's like, imagine we're all sitting this way, all kind of uncomfortable sitting our ass, and we all kind of like slowly started like, kind of like on an angle, and we started passing out. So when we woke up, it was pretty much just all of us lying on top of each other <laughs> around this camera, around this fondue. Uh, oh, camel. Yeah, you, you get your ass in here. So, I remember waking up and being like, pretty much in the like, where the knees bend, like tucked in like the knees of my buddy. And I woke up and I was like, what the fuck? And my other friend that crossed the way woke up and we both just started laughing. Like, we don't even rem remember. And I'm like, how the fuck did we all pass out? And uh, yeah, so then everyone started waking up and we were just killing ourselves laughing because it was just, so dumb and uh yeah we got out of there and it was like good weather oh yeah, that's right too i think what happened it stopped raining and it started warming up quite a bit while we were in there because when we got out it was fucking hot like the sun was out and we went down to the river but yeah it was pretty funny but i love fondues fondues are so good Um, yeah, as for, what was it, what was the question again? Oh, story on meeting parents? Um, yeah, a lot of them. I'm trying to think of, honestly, I don't think there's any real parents I hated. I was, I'm always really good with parents, um, but luckily I've always had chill parents when meeting them. Um... Well, this, like, Spanish girl I was into, I met her mom, and she goes, um, uh, what happened? Oh, yeah, so she, I, I was kind of, like, dating this, like, Spanish girl, but there's a lot of, like, drama involved with it, too, because she was with this other guy, but then she started liking me, and, uh, I liked her friend, but then her and I didn't really, like, get along as well. And then her and I kind of like hit it off. Uh, but at some point she broke up with him. Me and her friend realized we didn't really like each other. And then, uh, maybe haven't met the terror ones. True. I Not yet at least. Not yet. Um, there's some that were like definitely boring. But none that were like harsh. Nah, that's such a good story. Yeah, it's like, I love it. We always like bring it up and we all fucking chuckle about that one. And, uh, <laughs> and then, um, so she had heard that I ate a lot. Oh, I need wood. I need lots of wood. She heard that I, uh, ate quite a bit. So, and that I tried to help her. She, one of the dates she came over, she, uh, sat down on my toilet and the phone was in her back pocket and shot into the toilet. Um, on like our first kind of like date. So, from my perspective, I just walk by the to bathroom and I hear just a ton of splashing. Like a fuck ton of splashing. I'm like, what the hell is she doing in there? Um, so, I kind of waited for a while and it didn't stop. So I was like, are you okay in there? She's like, I just dropped my phone in the toilet. So I'm like, whatever you do, don't turn it on. Uh, but yeah, the mother was impressed that I like, tried to help her with her phone. I'm like, I think, I feel like anyone would. Um, and then her dad ate a lot. So they had, um, she had, the mom had a lot of money. She didn't even bat an eye and bought her daughter another phone. And so she's like, uh, I heard you guys are going shopping today. And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, what are you guys going to eat? And I'm like, ah, oh, who knows? Like there's a lot of stuff at this mall. And she goes, tell you what. I have a contest for you. I'm like, okay. I'm trying to remember the exact amount. Uh, but she's like, if you can eat in the time that you guys go shopping, which was like four hours or something like that, if you can eat like 4,000 calories or 5,000 calories, um, I'll pay for everything. But my daughter and her friend are going to keep track of all the calories that you eat. I'm like, 
done. Like, what a weird, what a weird ass game to play. And so, uh, like, completely random. So we go to this mall, and, um, cakewalk. Yeah, whatever it was, was a cakewalk. Um, because I remember, yeah, even, like, when she had us for over for dinner, she'd, like, test me a little bit. And it was, like, not even, it was, like, But yeah, I remember having like, right off the bat, I think I had three Burger King quad stackers, which are like four patties, and those are a thousand calories each. So it's like three cal 3,000 calories like right off the bat. I think I got like a dozen cookies. We went to TGI Fridays, got like ribs, some orange pico tea, and I think some cornbread, and a bunch of, I think uh, like a milkshake. I went like over. But I had the meat sweats. I actually wasn't feeling that good because it was in a very short period of time. Uh, bulk goods. But yeah, and she, she paid me. Yeah, she did. Yeah. She didn't even asked for receipts. She's just like, how much did it come to? It's funny too, because it was like it was such a weird, it was a really weird thing. Because I remember she wasn't even like, uh, she wasn't even surprised. Um, I had to buy the food first. Yeah, I think. Well, I think I paid for some of it, and then the uh, daughter paid for for some of it too. If I remember correctly, she she liked paying for things. Yeah, it was really, really random. Oh yeah, so yeah, when we came back, she, it was I was kind of expecting like a whole like, oh my god, I can't believe you did that. Um, uh, but it was kind of like just like she kind of laughed. She's like, you did it, didn't you? You're like, yeah. She's like, oh, how much did it cost? And then like, yeah, she paid me, and then that was like that was that. Like there was no like conversation about it, or she was just more. I don't know. It was weird. Uh, let's keep that focused. But yeah, that was a me that was probably the messiest, kind of messiest because I remember the uh, how much was it around? Um, I can't remember. It honestly wasn't that bad. It was kind of like around that time where it was right before the recession, like two thousand eight recession. I think. Yeah. So it was like kind of like right before prices started to fucking skyrocket. So yeah, I would say anyway, like probably like hundred bucks, maybe less. Oh. Those weren't even the, uh, oh, no, no, no. Cause like three burgers was like 20 bucks or like 25 bucks. Uh, TJ fried ribs and all that. That was like 30 something. The cookies were surprisingly cheap. The milkshake, the Pico tea was like 225. Actually, at the beginning of the stream, I was talking about the small cookie place. That was the same one. Um, where is Surratt? I'm trying to think of what was the... Um, I think I've told, I've told this one a few times, but I think, um, but the girl that was a little bit more serious, like, um, her parents were definitely a lot more conservative 
they're the parent, well, the dad I got along with quite the least, and not because, like, we hated each other or anything like that. It was more like we just had nothing to talk about. He was kind of just kind of kept to himself. Uh, the mom loved me. The mom loves cooking for me. But the first time meeting them, uh, they took me out for dinner for one of their birthdays. At a Malaysian restaurant. And, uh, she pretty much she ordered a, a fuck ton of food. They have a bigger family. And, uh, I can't blame parents for not being. Oh, really? Grecia, how's it going, Grecia? Uh, oh no, that colony is gone. That colony is gone. So we have to make a new Grecia. Uh, we quit that one because the new DLC. I think. Yeah. Yeah, so, but yeah, how are you doing, Grecia? Oh, so I wonder. So I think we're gonna have to turn her on to lavish food too. Because she's just getting pissy. As a way, I hope you all had a good week. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where did you go again? Oh, I had a great week. Yeah. Or, yeah. A lot better week because now my busy time of the year is pretty much over. Save for tomorrow. Las Vegas. Solid. What'd you think? You go with your girlfriend? Um, yeah, so we went to this like Malaysian restaurant. And uh, the family ordered a fuck ton of food. And at the end, my girlfriend at the time was like, um, she's like, looks at me, she's like, you're not full, are you? I'm like, no, I could keep eating. And she's like, um, and so they're like, uh, she's like, okay, uh, yeah, dig in. And like, I guess the mom heard saying dig in. She's like, oh, Tyson, are you still hungry? I'm like, well, yeah, yeah, I can keep eating. And, uh, she, just, just letting you know, we're not going to take any of this home. Um, we're not, you're not going to, we're not going to take any of this home. You can eat whatever you want. And I'm like, uh, I'm like, really? This is all going to go to waste? She, they're like, yeah. I'm like, oh. I'm like, so now, not only am I hungry still. But now I'm viewing the food as being a complete waste if I don't eat it. And the food was amazing. If anyone hasn't had tried Malaysian food, oh my god. So good. So, so, so good. So I'm like, one, I'm hungry. Two, food's amazing. Never had this before. And uh, three, now it's a challenge. Because now there is... This food's going to go to waste. It's go time. Live to win was going in the back of my head. And I just started eating. And I just kept eating. Wait, what? And so, um, I ended up eating all of it. And I really mean all of it. I consumed every last bit of it. And I was so proud. I was like, holy shit. And they could not believe it. Like, I remember her sisters were like, the fuck like, what the, where does he put it all like how the hell did he do that and so <laughs> so they pay for the meal i say thank you and we go over to their house and um the mom was chinese and the dad was danish and uh and so um we get to the place and we're sitting there talking. And the one thing that is at that point in time, I could not burp whatsoever. I had never burped in my life. It was, it sound like if I ever did, like it was just a weird noise that it would crack people up. It was a, like a funny party trick that I just couldn't burp. So now I have all this food in me. I'm very gassy meeting the parents for the first time. Now we're actually having the conversation because during dinner, there's a lot of people going on. So I never had a one-on-one. -on -one. So they're asking me like, what do I want to do with my life? Like, you know, what is it you like about our daughter? All this stuff. And here it comes. The loudest burp and the only burp 
I've ever done. It was a lip shaker. Straight out of The Simpsons. The flap, 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 flap. It was so loud and it felt so amazing. It was like my entire stomach depleted. And I now knew why people felt so good after burping. And it was just like, I'm just sitting there. I did it. And I, I have the biggest smile on my face. It's like, it's a whole new world is singing right now. I'm just in awe. And then as I'm smiling and look over, and I mind you, they're quite conservative. The mom's mouth is like down to here. The dad who's given zero expressions from when I've seen him, pretty much the entire relationship. This is the first time I've seen him express himself. It was like, and uh, girlfriend was like, just like staring at me like, oh fuck. And I immediately went to like, uh, I immediately went to like, I need to fix this situation. So I was like, I'm so, so, so sorry. I don't burp. I don't burp ever. That's the first time I burped. And my girlfriend at the time knew that I didn't. So she defended me too. Like, no, seriously, he can't burp. And so like, we tried to explain it. <laughs> and so they ended up being really cool with it, but they really thought like, I just did that on purpose. But then they understood I couldn't burp. And I never did for the rest of the relationship. So they knew I wasn't lying. But yeah. They had weird rules, though. I remember they had really, really weird. So she could she couldn't sleep over at my place. She could she couldn't sleep over at my place, but she could stay over till like six a.m. But just couldn't sleep over. So we she sleep at my house, set her alarm for like five fifty, and then leave in the morning. New lovers. Moran tried to woo Div by joking about the relationship between the fate of the universe and maturity. Dave became. Div became aroused and agreed to become Moran's lover. Hold up. Div is 17. And Moran is 29. I guess there's no laws here. Um, at least you didn't shit yourself. That, yeah, I did that in front of another girlfriend though. <laughs> Uh, I'm curious about your love life. You have an interesting dating history. I do. I, I, because none of the girl, girls I've been with have been at all similar. They've all been completely different. I went with a couple buddies for when we were young festival. Oh shit! How was it really busy there, Grecia? Do that's typical for Asian families. Well, I'm speaking from your experience. No, hi. Yeah, no, it's. Very, uh, very true, very, very true. Uh, two of my girlfriends were, one was half Chinese, had one half Danish. The other one was half Chinese. Uh, fuck, I can't remember what their other half was. And the other one was Vietnamese. But yeah, very, very, like, yeah. With all that food, yeah. Stay in bed or longer loopholes, yeah. Man, she had a clutch. Another thing, she was not, she was not allowed to have sex till she was married. Like, that, that wasn't happening. Um, she was like, yeah, fuck that. Um, and so, I rem remember... I was super impressed. She got caught. Her parents, like, went to grab. I think she, they like, oh, we don't know where our keys are. Do you have yours? And I think she handed her purse to them, and they went looked inside and saw her birth control. Oh, I could only imagine. Her parents were probably like, she said, really, like, they were pissed immediately, like, complete betrayal, and. It's one of those like life-saving, yeah, like, yeah. And sometimes when you're in that panic, oh my God, he's so fucking quick now. You come up with crazy ass shit. And so right away, she's like, 
she's like, oh, no, no, don't worry, we don't do that. Uh, Tyson's not even into that sort of thing right now. <laughs> but the reason I take birth control is because I think my boobs are too small. And these help make my boobs bigger. And they're like, oh, okay. And they completely went to denial and forgot the entire thing. I was like, damn. I believe it is true. It's actually, I think it's it helped with something it, with the hormones. It's slight. It's like very, very slight. Yeah. I believe so. Um. Yeah, they can. There is a hell you might be in hell. <laughs> Tyson, maybe. No, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Uh, if her, not her lion game so strong, she can just trade you later in Twitch chat. Oh, we true. But, yeah, I was like, damn, that is impressive. Ooh, above 30%. Don't know if we can do that. But yeah. But yeah, she's like, my... I just think I found condoms. Water balloons. Um, what else? Water balloons, yeah. Was making a first aid kit and accidentally bought the wrong ones. She meant finger condoms, but bought the bigger ones by accident. Could have been worse than the parents. Uh, I forced you to marry their daughter. I could see that. Good luck. Some cultures are like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting. I think, yeah, that was probably one of the relationships that made me learn the most like that. M learn the most about myself, I think. Oh yeah, we're gonna make robots. Um, how much more granite do we have? Decent amount, decent amount. So let's go with... you flirt with the parents? Um... Not really, like, not really. I'm pretty flirtatious, so I kind of goof around a lot. Um... So if I did, it was, like, definitely, like, yeah, I don't think I did. I don't, I'm trying to get... None of the parents were really like that. That would have, like, accepted that kind of humor. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, I actually, I've always enjoyed meeting the parents. I don't think I've ever been like, after the first couple, when am I gonna date again? I guess when I meet the right person. Now I know where Blank gets her looks from. Oh, and that, no, I don't think I've ever done like that, but that'd be hilarious. You wanna pull that? Be like, oh man, Blank's looks are, were definitely diluted. Yours are much better. <laughs> yeah, when dating, like, uh, I'm always, like, down, but, um, I don't go out of my way. Like, if I meet someone, 100% be down. Like, I've gone, I don't know. You don't actively go out. My last, uh, my last couple of dates were kind of like, meh. It's interesting though, because like I usually go for a... Uh, just like women of different culture. So there's definitely like a culture, cultural uh, difference sometimes. Or like the, the daughter will be like more upbeat, but then they'll give me like the warning. So like my parents don't want me to date or like a bunch or like my dad will kill you, that kind of stuff. This doesn't ask women out, the women ask him. I'd say it's pretty like... I'd say it's about, yeah, I'd say it's about like 50-50. I like it when women ask me out though. Uh, first dates suck. I felt like I had a script the first time. My first couple dates, um, it was like, I remember well, one of the girls was like, I felt like completely out of my league. She was definitely like way more put together than I was. I was kind of just like a shit show. And she, uh, um, I remember our date. I was so nervous that it just turned into like 20 questions. I remember like, what's your favorite? I'm not, I'm not joking about this. I was asking her like things like, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite show? And nothing like when she answered, there was no like, um, there was no like, oh, where, where can we go from like this conversation? Like, what's your favorite color? Red. Oh, why? Oh, I like blue. Like there was nothing that progressed. It was like, Gave me answer, next question. And then she even laughed. She's like, what is this, 21, it's 21 questions after like 40 questions? Um, have you ever dated a Filipino? I have not. Um, I wanted to though. Um, Cause I, I don't know. I do tend to gravitate toward all my relationships have been most of my most of my relationships I'd say with being uh, Caucasian, but I generally gravitate towards Asian women more. Have I ever dated an Indian chick? No. Um. Not yet. 
Funny you said that. Uh, I won't go in there. I won't go there. Um, he, what was it? Um, ever date, every date, first date is same goddamn combo. It is. It is. Uh, the beginning, the beginning, there's like a, a script. It is a script. Indian food is good. Indian food is good. I love Indian food. You been in with Indian girl? Yeah. You're missing out? Uh, prob probably. Uh, um, a lot of my friends are, several of my friends are Filipino. One of them really wants me to, one of them really wanted me to come to the Philippines with him. Uh, maybe one, one day. Uh, I feel like should understand my family more than any other Canadian I've been. Pro yeah. Wait, what are you? Terramorpher. Oh, never mind. I was gonna tame it. No, or guy one. You guys date for a while? No, I, yeah, I definitely would have. I definitely would date an Indian woman. Uh, light. She thought it was for a while. I see, I see. <laughs> but it wasn't. <laughs> Days, the good old days. Uh, Benamir. Yeah. Um. I think yeah. Ah, oh, dating is just so is it time. Dating is so time consuming. It's so time consuming and expensive. Uh, dance components. Buy that, do what you mean? Huh. You free out of the point. <laughs> no, but you gotta use your hand for dinner. <laughs> Don't miss it at all. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. I do miss like that certain like company. It's like, it's weird because it's like that ever, that constant like battle between I love my freedom of time and be able to do whatever I want. But you know, I do miss like, you know, your typical like cuddling, watching a movie, chilling. Uh, I was gonna get a gamer girlfriend, 100%, 100%. No, I think, my, rela my relationships when it came to like gamer girls, even though I totally understand like p people have, uh, they say like difference is kind of attract, attract, and it usually work better. But mo my relationships when it came to like a gamer, it's a girl who gamed, uh, seemed to be the best. I think it's because that's also what I'm passionate about talking about. I love talking about games. I love uh, everything that's just, uh, associated with that. 
Uh, I feel like my freedom is playing better with more partner than just Dan. Yeah, yeah, the girl. I definitely would like find like love to find a partner. But the problem with me too is like um, I think I'll maybe a bit changed now, but in the past like my dating sometimes would turn into relationships, even though if I was I wasn't even sure if I really wanted to be in one, but it just became comfortable. Dating is so emotionally draining. It, yeah, it definitely can be. I'm lucky because I do get over things really, really quickly. Um, it's just something I've always been like that, just with anything. Um, I don't know why. Tyson cold as fuck. No, but it's like not even just that. It's like even like, like even like pets dying. Like some like you know, my bonded pets for life. Like die. It's obviously like the first night, fucking weeping, crying, but like, it just did a. Uh, I don't know. I just really move on pretty damn quickly. It comes with relationships too. And it's not like it's like a, a cut. I no longer feel anything. It's like. Kind of like hits me like randomly. Like, I'll break up from a relationship, feel really good, and then, I don't know, like, it'll be like, I'll be happy, and then, like, one day I'll be like, oh, damn, what could have been? And maybe I'll think about it for a couple minutes, and then I move on, and it kind of just, like, I don't know, it's weird. It's always been like that, though. I've always been like that. The part that really, for me, that affects me more than anything is not me, per se. It's them. Like... I worry about them. Like, I remember one of the girlfriends I broke up with after two years. Um, she was pretty, like, heartbroken over it. That aspect uh, affected me a lot longer because I just felt like such a piece of shit. Like, there's no good way about it. Rather than my own feelings. Uh, Rip Tyson's bird, yeah. How's it going, Reploid? I want resil resilience. It is what it is. It is what it is mentality. Yeah, kind of. It's the same thing with like, I talk, uh, you know, I talk about how like, I do wish, what the fuck is that? Sand squid. I do wish I started streaming when I was younger. Um, I feel like there's like, a, you know, I waste a lot of time when I could have been doing something I love doing. But I also know to a certain degree that I'm a completely different person now than I was, and I don't know if I would have had either the balls or confidence to do this. So it's like, you know, it's easy to look back with 2020 vision, but I don't think that version of me could ever do it. Fuck, you didn't light on fire? Yes, you did. There we go. Camel, where are you? My first love was five years, and we lived in, and became engaged, about to get married, then she left. Never again will I get attached. I'll never say never. There'll always be that one. But that sucks. Ellen chat for Reploid. Poor Reploid. You don't believe in love anymore? Oh, I 100% believe in it. I just think for me too, is like I'm never going to. Uh, I think the thing I worry about um, is that sometimes if you want something bad enough, you almost create it. So. Um, I'm always very cautious with, oops, like actively searching for something. That's kind of like why like I don't go in my way too much to be dating. I like try and figure things out organically as much as possible. 
or like and really look for not just like something that I am s somewhat satisfied with. Like, oh, it's going pretty well. No, I want things to go really well. I think before I was always, I was just thinking pretty well is okay. Let's get a good chemical reaction to bring. I'm in a divorced family, but both parents are in such happy marriages now that I still believe in it. True love is still, um, uh, choose to commit and repair. Choose to commit and repair a relationship. I think most people, um, but on average love fails, because I don't think it's actually love. And I think that's the kind of the point I was almost kind of like making in a way when it comes to people look for it. I think a lot of people are either desperate, checking a timer, um, maybe they get caught up because their other friends are, um, like their friends are getting into relationships, so they feel like they need to get into relationships. Uh, people mistaken love with infatuation. So, um, they get infatuated with something, maybe they like have a certain kink, um, and then because that gets filled, everything else kind of like builds on top of that, but maybe that, you know, that kink changes. And then now your like pillar, your main pillar breaks and then everything else sucks. I think that's like, I think a lot of people think they fall in love and possibly didn't. Um, so I have love in many forms, true love is hard to find. Very, very difficult, I think, overall. Parents are divorced, they still love each other and just not love anymore. Dallas Cowboy fan, think of thing, never been like Rick, yeah. I'm from the Dallas area, hate them. I love the boys even though they break my heart every year. I'm still in love. I don't care more. I just enjoy my life. Yeah, exactly. So you don't have to search for it. Maybe it'll find you. You have to be in love. Yeah, true. You need to just hop, hop on to the next horse. Doesn't matter. Just go any mini mini mode down the road and pick one. Speed run it. Now what do we have to build? Um, biotech. So who is going to be our person? Is it going to be Moran? So beautiful. Yeah, let's do that. Let's save this. And try Moran out. Do Cricket. New quest has become, it's called the Overshear Ship. You have decrypted an ancient transponder, revealing the location of a mechanoid ship in orbit. The ship is badly damaged, but you can signal to land nearby. The ship contains the remains of a long dead mechanator. Mechanoids can create control mechanoids for work and combat. By extracting the decent mechanator's mech link, you can turn one of your col own columns into a mechanator. Cost composed of 16 scorchers and 26 militors. Okay, uh, security, let's build some turrets.
Uh, relationships. Relationships are just add-ons that nobody needs in life. It's Uh, codespacy is when you depend on your partner, but that is, you should be happy on your own. Uh, yeah. Oh, fleeing fire. No, Ford, get the. F Why do you keep firefighting? Uh,. Uh, cause that's one major flaw in my relationship. Uh, I think everyone here understands, uh, that everyone has their own opinion. Um, and when it comes to, yeah, right with your situation, I think yours is probably a little bit, uh, You definitely, like, you, with your past experiences, that's how you kind of are feeling right now. But I think someone will come along and change your, uh, I think someone will change your mind on that. You went one way, and now you're, like, slingshotting the other side. And eventually, I think you'll kind of hit the, hit the middle again. Take back, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Weird emotional, uh, yeah, I'm down, Shimiki. Definitely down. Uh, humans are weird emotional creatures. We're weird emotional creatures and we are constantly contra contradicting ourselves. Constantly. But yeah, we could do definitely do played up Shimiki. I'm definitely down. You just don't enjoy your life, yeah. Dreams and follow what makes you happy. And it's kind of like, um, what was it too? And sometimes like, because uh, obviously we change, but I remember like I was, did acting courses, right? And one of my teachers would always talk about, um, he always had like a bunch of sayings and kind of like told you to like how to be just free. And I can't remember the exact lesson what it was, but he'd say it over and over and over and over again. And it was one of those things that just like doesn't resonate with me. Some people it resonated with him, but you know, everyone's different. And so it just never hit me. And then, um, you know, like a year goes by and I take this other course and the guy said the exact same thing, but just a slightly different. And so I think the combination of saying it in a different way and in a different time in my life, boom, it just hit me and finally made sense. And I remember coming back and he's like, hey, Tyson, I heard you took a different course. Do you have anything to share from that course with our class? So when I said it, he got mad. I've been saying that for fucking like a year. Like, don't you get it? And like, I didn't know how to respond to that, but you know, it's like, we go through different phases. We hear different things. Sometimes it just, sometimes you can hear something and it just goes right by you. Um, I think that's why it's like super important to like revisit beliefs, revi revisit, um, you know, different foods, different, you know, types of movies, just different things all the time because like we're constantly changing. So I could definitely see like why you feel a certain way um, at this moment in time because you kind of feel burnt. Um, 
and uh, yeah, I think yeah, I think you'll you'll definitely figure things out. I'm getting too strong and independent to rely on others, or vice versa, or vice versa. Yeah. I'm only gonna play for four hours. And I don't have work tomorrow, so I can rest. Uh, so sorry, Shimiki only for four hours. Shimiki, that's like that's up for debate, right? You mean you're gonna? Ch that's like minimum, right, Shimiki? Yeah, there we go, there we go, it depends, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have another date tomorrow with a Japanese girl? Nice! Oh, she's the one! <laughs> uh, that's why guys can't even figure out what's wrong with me, I think. I think so. Oh yeah, you, uh... You went yesterday, how did that go? Oh, overall. Uh, my cardiologist didn't even figure out what's wrong with me. I think liver or gallbladder problems. So now you gotta do more testing. More testing. If you're willing to stay up late, I'd imagine so. I'm gonna try and get a good night's sleep tonight. I'm gonna probably uh, go to bed around 10 p.m. tonight. Nice and early. Be really responsible. Uh, her name's, uh, Yuri. She's amazing cute. Oh, nice, nice. I used to think every woman was the one. I think it's very common, though. I think a lot of people... I think a lot of people, um... Think that way, though. That was something my mom drilled in my head growing up in high school. She's like, just remember... Not every girl's the one. Like, it's drilled it, drilled it, drilled it, so definitely helped. He got me on a higher dose of water pills and advised me to check with my other doctors for further testing, yeah. You might have thought my ex was the one too. It's called Hope. Yeah, Wire Death. How's it going, Wire Death? It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Fuck, just tears us, tears us down. Alright. Not much, not much. Just trying to survive here, having some good conversations. And, uh, yeah, it's been a great stream. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed early tonight. I'm gonna probably go to bed around 10 ish. Just, you know, just definitely wanna be responsible for Shimiki and the work tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see anything in chat. You guys know, not me neither. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna put armor, cataphract. Oh wait, no, we should do cataphract here. I don't think we're gonna damage cataphract. Uh, maybe we will. And then we'll do wait, prestige as well. And then recon. Um and everyone knows how full of shit your cows. Oh, so how did the rebuilding go? Whole place restored from mayhem. Yeah, actually, honestly, I thought it was gonna take like a stream or two to come to you know totally fix everything and make everything all good, but I think by within like half an hour, everything was back in one piece. The only thing we were we ran out of was cotton, so I haven't rebuilt this. I don't know if I will because it just goes up in flames really quick. I'll probably rebuild Kaimane's room, but other than that, we had we were up and 
running. And one thing I was really worried was we were out of steel to rebuild everything. But, uh, where was it? One of the drills I forgot about and had like a fuck ton of steel around it that no one had collected. Because it was in the uh, mech zone. So none of our haulers were grabbing it. Um, for like our animals, so that ended up being all the steel we needed. So the only thing we lost was like over 200 components, which that hurt. It's like 231 components we lost, and I think like 50 advanced components from the fire. But other than that, uh, yeah, no, it actually didn't take very long. I have no idea what I lost here, though. About half, about a quarter of our uh, quarter of their storage got burnt down. I don't know what was in there. Um, and then this will be. Headgear, helmet. Helmet. Marine. Marine. Prestige, prestige. Wait, there's kid helmets? Oh my god, that's hilarious. There is kid armor. I'll put that there. And utility over here. Gun link. Uh, you know, you got it. Oh, I'll be, yeah, I actually, uh, where was it? I think I got it, yeah. Steel and uh, components. I'm just gonna wait, I probably, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna do it everywhere yet, but I will put it, like, here for this. Here for that. Some of the bigger rooms that I know I'm gonna need. Um, and before I forget, 